What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way, in my opinion, to learn the B twist. With this hack, I really think for basically almost everybody out there, you can learn and achieve a B twist in one day or less. But you gotta focus. You want to build yourself a barrier and you want to make sure it's pretty sturdy. I've got this storage container right here, the storage box, okay? It's sturdy. Second thing I've got is I've got this old gymnastics pad that I got off of Amazon that I've had for like seven years, I think now. I got it in like 2013. Um, it's gross, it's moldy, but it's gonna do the trick. And most importantly, I think better yet is it is soft on the top. And actually, no, most importantly is it brings this barrier up to about hip height. That's the key. Another thing is you don't want it too wide, all right? I think like two feet here is probably the maximum I wanna go. Two feet, because if it's too wide, it's not gonna serve the purpose. You know, decent length because you're gonna roll over. This is perfect, all right? About four feet by two feet. Oh man, so good, so good. About three feet high. So make sure your barrier's sturdy, that's the first thing. Um, but if you watch my cork video, how to do the cork using the barrier, you probably already learned this, but honestly, learning the B twist with the barrier, oh, it's just even better. It's even better, it's easier. All you gotta do to complete the B twist over the barrier is foot facing towards the barrier, other foot facing out, or you know, it could come slightly in, it's kind of your preference on this foot, but this one's gotta be facing towards the barrier. All right, now instead of doing the dip, you don't have to go through that yet, I just want you to start at the place right before you jump and take off, okay? So start right here, the back foot can come off the ground a little bit. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna take your outside arm, you're gonna dip it around, okay? You're gonna dip it around so that your shoulder is landing on your barrier and you're on your back on the barrier like this. Come over the top, spin around to your feet. Watch that again guys, watch that again. Foot facing barrier, other foot, how I want it, kind of like an L. Dip down, come around, outside shoulder that started on the outside is now on the inside. Curling my arm in and I want to land that like this, roll onto my back, over and around facing back where I came from. What? Dude, oh, man. It's just the knaves. Now all you gotta do from here is you gotta kinda speed that up and add a little bit more of a jump. So I come in, throw my shoulder on, lift this back leg off first, and then I work on that jump and speeding it up a little bit, watch. So basically in a nutshell, it's literally that simple. You point that foot facing towards the barrier, Outside shoulder, hit onto the barrier, roll over it on your back. So, onto your back, you twist the lower body with it, right off. Then you really start increasing the jump. Now, also important with the B-twist is you want that back leg to come off first, okay? This back leg is gonna come off first and what it's going to do is it's actually gonna kick up, okay? It's gonna kick up as you jump off the jumping foot. So, it's coming up and kicking giving you extra lift and propelling your lower body more horizontal to give you more of that B-twist look. So practice that as well. This barrier makes it so easy. It's like the easiest thing ever. Holy moly, it's crazy. I wish I would have learned this a long time ago. I was too stubborn, man. I was too stubborn to try things like this. I wish I wouldn't have been stubborn. I could have got tricks way faster. And then from there, just like we're doing, we continue to add in more of the B-twist type stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna work on more of my dips. So I, I start on that back leg, I'm dipping down, I dip into it, come here, inside shoulder rolls on the pad as I kick that back leg up and jump off of this foot. So it's really that easy, guys. Yo, so once you get that, that's pretty much it. That's all of the motion for the B-twist. You got the dip, you got the jump, back leg kicks up as you jump off this foot, you're rolling over the object, you are doing the B-twist, but you're doing it by rolling over this object. This thing is guiding you, it's the, the helping hands, it's just... Uh, you basically continue to use the barrier because it's not getting in, in your way really and you just try to lighten up on it. You try to really be snappy and quick over the top. You lighten up. You can even add in your pivot to give you a little bit more, a little bit more um, speed, a little bit more momentum. I like that. I want you to pay attention to what's making you spin faster over this barrier object. You gotta pay attention to those things, like the tucking of the arms, bringing the legs in, 
upper body first, then the lower body, the twist, the feeling, all these little micro adjustments that you basically teach yourself by using the barrier. Those things are the things that you're gonna work on while using this to make it lighter and lighter, to make your experience over the barrier feel effortless. And when you get to that point where it feels like you're barely even using the barrier, then you can take it away. And then literally when you're feeling light, you're feeling quick, you take the barrier away, it's everything you learned with it. All it is is just there is no barrier anymore, okay? Nothing to hold you up, but you're not going to need that because you practice enough with this where it just you didn't even need it. You don't even need it anymore, you know? So with that being said, remember to practice safely. I hope this video helps everyone out out there. More videos coming out. We should use this this janky barrier to learn some more flips, all right? We already learned the cork. We learned the B twist now. Let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. Did you get did you guys like the hat? Don't forget to subscribe. I have more videos coming out, tons more, so stay tuned. We're, be, we're filming, man. We're filming stuff, okay? Thank you all so much for watching. Peace. Hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.